So today is an unusual situation because I have been in the living room. I don't normally do these things in the living room, but upstairs there's noise and next door there's noise and it's a horrible day. And I thought, well, I've already done an SOTD on the Women's Wet Shaving we're showing women Facebook um, on the Paddy's Day, as in St. Patrick's Day shave, where I did one. And now I did a leg one, which this time I videoed. And I thought, oh, well, why not? I'm going to be doing um, a scrub and giving myself some extra attention. The legs have and are going to be out very soon, hopefully. <laughs> knowing that the weather's going to get colder but preparation is the key you have to start preparing sooner than you think so let me just get into it what did I use today obviously I used <clears throat> um, I showed you in the picture the aloe 
forever allo scrub um why do i use this number one it makes the skin super soft it is non-abrasive in a way that it's not harsh the beads that are in here are allo jojoba beads so it's jojoba oil which is has cleansing and moisturizing effect i'm holding this so that i don't know if it's the light from the skylights here um so that is why I like it. It also has aloe in it. That is why I use this. I don't use it very often. I don't know why. Every time I use it, I'm just in love again with it. I don't know. I haven't used it for quite a few years. But there you go. I thought I saw that on my shelf. I'm thinking, oh, you haven't done something like this for ages. Pardon me. So let's do just the pamper. Right. So I use that then. I used my Omega um, Professional 49. It's a pure bore. And I must say it is relatively new and it's still quite a bit smelly. Yeah, it does smell a bit of bore. I have to wash this a few times. I have gone for the, I've done the decision. I am not going to stick it in the fridge and I'm just going to let it naturally um well prepare itself basically so i have washed it a couple or three times with normal hand soap or the aloe hand soap to be precise and now i've used it for the very first time with this beautiful irish countryside from razor rock um, I think it is a glycerin based one. I can't really tell because I can't read it from here. I think it is, but as you saw, it lathers up really well. Um, just to come back to, to this, the Omega Professional 49, I think it is a, is it a 26 millimeter? I now can't remember. It's either 24 or 26. It is. The one thing I have to get used to is the length of these bristles. I'm not used to it, but they're actually very, very soft. I was afraid they were going to be super prickly, but they're not. They're very, very soft already, and I've only used it once. So I've washed it, um, just washed it through, not done any anything else to it, and it's already getting soft. Then I used my Bailey razor I love this razor because of the handle shape and it's long and it does have the grip here um, however if you've got a lot of soap coming down your handle it might be a bit slippery so if that is the case then just put a few elastic elastic bands or something along it love this head as i said before on a former video because there is no blade overhang it is mild enough but depending on the blade you put in it can also be quite i wouldn't say an aggressive razor ever but from mild to mid aggression razor um, or effectiveness razor so I like the weight of it and doing legs and so on. It's just perfect, this. It's actually um, price range. It was similar to the Harliali, um, but I prefer actually this one from the handle shape. And this head is a little bit more intuitive. It's, a, it's based on the Gillette Tech um, head. I used in it one of the older blades which is the Derby Extra um, why because for the legs this will do just fine this was on its first use so this is was a new blade the last one that I have um, I think there are nicer blades out there but as I said I wouldn't use this on my face but for legs and arms this do, does very well indeed uh, then I used well I washed everything off as you saw and as a moisturizing agent I used the aloe moisturizing lotion yes I can use other lotions and I have other lotions at home but I have now more than 27 years experience with this lotion and I wasn't 
a seller of these in the beginning at all. It took me quite a few years before I got into it. Um, but I was using these also um, in the practice, as in I, I did uh, medical massages and things, and people liked it and they started asking me, where do you get it from? They were seeing benefits. Um, not only this one, I was using also the heat lotion, and uh, the MSM lotion, especially for massage, and or when the essential oils came out with the carrier oil. Anyway, so this has collagen and elastin, and it moisturizes really nicely. It has a slight scent to it, but that fades very quickly. And there's also palm, apricot kernel oil, um, and a few vitamin E, obviously, in there, and quite, and chamomile, um, and what other things I can't now remember exactly, but I won't post it on there. Look at my older videos. I've used this before. Have a look at one of the older videos where I have the photo of it on. Um, today was just a very quick interlude with this. So there you go. I've been pampering myself and I was contemplating whether I am actually going to do another arm one. But as I'm still, as I've been washing my hands a lot, you know why. I don't need to tell you what's going on. I don't think I'll be doing my arm. So I'm going to leave that for another day. Give it another week or two because there's just too much soap going up to the elbows or high, oh no, not up to here or to the elbows, depending on what I'm doing. So this moisturizing lotion is now coming with me everywhere. I do also have the lotion lotion, uh, which has lanolin in it. And I make, well, sometimes I use that one and sometimes I use this one just to keep my hands moisturized. I do have very dry hands. And in fact, all that washing has already got a bit of an effect if you see my fingers here so i'm thinking maybe i'm even going to switch over to the aloe propolis cream which gives a, a special protective layer on there so that is it for today and i'm sorry i had the tv running and i hope there's not too much background noise i just wanted to get this in because whilst I'm doing it why not record it have a lovely Paddy's weekend I know it's on Tuesday but anyway enjoy and I hope you're not locked up and self-isolating then it's most probably going to get super boring for you but anyway enjoy at least it's not in the hot summer eh so we should be positive about that let's see what comes see you soon bye bye now I can't find my mouse to stop this. Oh, and that's the dishwasher. I'm sorry for that as well. Bye-bye.